Hey guys, welcome back to the Bucket Think Tank. So how's your fandom treating you? Um, today we're going to talk about Batman issue 83. So this issue is one part beautifully sad and at the same part a bit frustrating and a bit lukewarm. So hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. The comic, first of all, looks beautiful, looks really great. This is one of those issues that did not need any dialogue. Like, there's ultimately no dialogue that would have really done this any justice, really. As Batman awakens after being, you know, shot, attacked by Flashpoint Batman and awakens to see Alfred dead. And it's beautifully sad. Beautiful just to see Batman Bruce just sort of broken in this moment and the tears holding him close taking his cape off to sort of wrap out to wrap Alfred in it it's just beautiful and the whole time we've got this dialogue some poetry not bad poetry um a letter from Alfred I think it's a letter it has to be a recording from Alfred for this to work but I don't think it is either this is sort of the problem with the dialogue Alfred's dead so can't be his dialogue it's also knowledge that I guess we're supposed to think Bruce is finding out. So it has to be a recording. Because in addition to the poem that Alfred's reading, there's also um, some more personal dialogue from Alfred talking about how it was watching Bruce grow up, how he realized this was that being Batman was important to him, so he helped him out, how he was happy to see that he'd found love and Catwoman, that he was actually starting to smile again, you know, that was great. I don't think I ever saw Batman smile in Tom King's run, so that was weird, but whatever, whatever. And then we get this reveal, still through the tears of of Bruce, and that still is really beautiful. This book is, this issue is brilliant. Um, Tom King's Batman run, whether you love it or hate it, has always had really good art. Even if I'm not always 100% on it, it's really good. So Alfred reveals to us that at some point he gave a signal to Bruce saying that he was alright. This was a lie. We know this, but we didn't realize how much trouble Alfred was in or how much trouble Alfred was aware he was in. So he has told Bruce at some point that he was alright and then Bane kills him. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is sort of where it falls apart here. Did we need that part? Did we need that part? And granted, I think it was because Bruce died about three months... Alfred died about three months ago. Okay? Book-wise. So the issue where um, Alfred died... Let's see, this is issue 83. Batman comes out twice a month. 83, 82, 81, 80, 79, 78. Ooh, over three months ago, really. Alfred's been dead for over three months from a reader's standpoint. And the story's been progressing with Bruce not knowing that. And as I said before, this story would have been a lot better. Like, we could have done the legitimate Bruce beats Bane, and he almost kills Bane because of what happened with Alfred. But here he didn't know. So, it's it's just sort of weird and frustrating. And it sort of attempts to take away from this very great emotional moment. Especially when after Bruce wraps Alfred up, he sees written on a wall... You're not Batman. And I didn't quite get that. I'm like, wait, what does that mean? And, you know, he, he finds he can't get he can't get out of the room. No matter how much he tries to punch through the, the stone wall, which I think is more of an inconsistent moment in Batman's strength level, but whatever, whatever. He rages, he, he, he yells, he throws stuff, and it's pretty primal stuff. And then when he finally takes the cowl off, the, the the brick wall explodes, it's Catwoman, who says, like, he says you're ready. It turns out Catwoman, um, Batgirl, Tim, Damien, Cass, Kate, Duke, they've all been taken over by the Psycho Pirate. I'm like, okay, that's, that's interesting. And then we see Thomas Wayne here going, so I've taken your city, your children, your woman. You know, are, are you done now? Is it over? Like, are you finally going to stop being Batman? And I'm I'm trying to figure out the logic here that Thomas Wayne is going on here. Because Thomas Wayne seems set 
on trying to make Bruce stop being Batman. Where did this come from? Like, I, I get it. I, I legit get it. I remember where it came from in the button when Thomas Wayne tells Bruce to stop being Batman and just be a dad to his son. But where does that lead to this crusade? This aligning with Bane to turn out he's been someone in control the whole time. That he's got the Psycho Pirate in his pocket. He's got Wesker. As well as Gotham Girl. So, was this really Flashpoint Batman's plan? But that doesn't explain anything else. So that means he sort of latched on to Bane's plan that started in I Am Gotham. To now. And then he uproots it. He pulls the, um... Uh, the, the Usagi thing. Like, the, the goddess from Naruto. You know, this really cool idea of Madara. How we're going to beat Madara. Oh, taking over. The whole thing turns out... Um, turns out this was a plan by somebody else to awaken a goddess. So, yeah. That was also stupid. And Batman's response is sort of like, No, I'm nowhere near done. And that would be really great if that were this story would build up to. It felt a bit... A bit lacking in the story here. And then um, Bruce and Thomas are about to fight as the comic ends. So let's be clear here. The problem that kills this issue is the is the entire story. Everything leading up to this and everything that came after that moment sort of ruins the death of Alfred. All right, Because now I'm left to wonder about it. This really great, heart-wrenching moment of effectively... Bruce watching his second dad die. Or seeing his second dad dead. And then at the hands of another version of his dad. So that that's cool. But this entire story just has not been working. Tom King's run has sort of been deteriorating. And the only reason I'm really glad it's over is because I really want to talk about it. Like from arc to arc. And I'll be doing that soon when it's over. Anyway, with that in mind, maybe I'm too hard on this issue. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm like the, I think for every hundred people, ten people generally always love Tom King's Batman. I'm not one of them. I might be like eleven and a half. Well, ten and a half. Ten and a half. I'm that halfway person. But anyway, with that in mind, we'll bring this video to close here. If you're new to the Bucket Think, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out some other videos, and I will catch you all later. This is the Bucket Think Tank signing off. Thanks for watching, and as always, may your fandom serve you well.